Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Samat. So I'm making this really quick short video because I've actually had a few inquiries by many people who have found my visa guide on YouTube and a lot of you guys have actually asked me like what do you do when you actually arrive in the UK? Like how do you start? How do you start your life in the UK basically? So I've got a few points here that I've written down and I'm gonna share it with you quickly in this video today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I've also put a link in like the comments below of my coffee account. Like if you guys find this whole guide useful at all, you know, you can always just buy me a coffee as a thanks if you want to. I mean, obviously, if you don't, that's fine. Subscribing and liking is also really cool and I really appreciate it as well in your kind comments. So let's get started. Okay, so I've got my notes here. So the first thing that you will have to do when you arrive in the UK is that you have to collect your BRP, your Biometric Residence Permit. Your BRP actually acts as your proof of residence here in the UK and that you actually had your visa approved and that you can legally stay here with your partner. So when you actually like receive your visa after you've done all your applications and stuff, you will also receive a letter that states that you have to collect your BRP here in the UK. And during your application process, they will actually ask you of an address of where you're staying in. So then they will also assign or you can actually choose like a post office or just a location where you can collect your BRP. I collected it in one of the post office here nearby my place, like only like 15 minutes walk away. And it was just in the post office. I just went in. I told them I'm collecting a BRP. They asked me for my passport just to check my identity and like what the name is. And then literally in like two minutes, the woman in the counter like found my BRP and then she just gave it to me and that's that. A lot of people end up forgetting to collect their BRP and it's just in the location or in the post office for like months and months and I think you end up like just losing it. They might throw it away or you might get fined if you don't have your BRP so make sure you collect it. That's the first thing. The second thing that you need to do is to apply for a national insurance number. If you want to work in the UK, you need to have a national insurance number. The national insurance number is actually something that allows you to keep track of your taxes. Someone like me who's self-employed, I need a national insurance number because I have to do my own taxes myself. But if you are someone who is wanting to work in a company, you know, they need your national insurance number so that they can pay the taxes through their company. You can start work though without a national insurance number, but you need to inform your employer that you have started applying for a national insurance number and that you're just waiting. So when you actually apply for the national insurance number, you have to go on the government website, give all your details and whatnot. The difficulty for us who are foreign nationals is that we don't have some of the specific identifications that the government requires, like a P60 or a British passport and whatnot. So it's not as straightforward but when you do apply for your national insurance number, you have to request for a form that they will send to you. You need to fill it in, you need to do a photocopy of your visa, of your biometric I think, and also your passport, and then you have to mail it back to the national insurance office. They will give you an address in that letter that you have to send to wherever, whatever city that you're in. And then from then on, you have to wait 16 weeks for your national insurance number to be posted to you. 16 weeks is four months and it just takes that long. Like you just need to wait. But don't worry, you can start work during that time. Just inform your employer that you're just waiting for your national insurance number basically. And then once 16 weeks has passed and you have received a post of your national insurance number, you can register online to update the government website or, or home office or whatever on the fact that you have your national insurance number. I am a self-employed person, so I have to apply for like a UTR so that I can apply for self-assessment. But yeah, make sure you have your national insurance number. That's the most important thing. Um, be patient, it takes a few weeks, but yeah, do that. The third one, of course, which is quite important for anyone who is moving to any country is to open a bank account. 
if you want to start working, obviously you need a bank account. When, when you've already moved here in the UK, you'll have an address. So it's easier for you to open a UK bank account when you already have a house address. You have your visa and your passport and your BRP and everything. It would be easier for you to go and open a bank account. I would recommend though for you to have like a local kind of like traditional bank. Like in Scotland, I have a Royal Bank of Scotland, so an RBS account. But I also have a digital bank account with Monzo and with Starling. Monzo is more for personal things and then Starling is for my business, my self-employment stuff. So if I want to keep track of taxes and stuff, I just use Starling and whatever. You know, we are in the UK right now and the UK is actually quite fast forward when it comes to finances. So I would recommend having like a digital bank because you can keep track of everything on your phone, on the apps and, and, and like make sure that you have all your taxes already, bookkeeping, uh, bank statements, all that stuff. And they also like assign every single thing that you are spending on like groceries, nights out, holidays, all that stuff. So I would recommend that but also open a local traditional one. It's good for your credit score if you have like a local one. Yeah, so those are the three main things that I can think about. Collect your BRP card, apply for a national insurance number and open a bank account. Those three are very important when you move here and especially if you want to go and look for a job. You need your ID, you need your national insurance number for tax purposes and you also need a bank account so that you can get paid and so that you can start an actual credit score basically yeah i think that's all i can share for today if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below i'll try my best to answer them to the best of my abilities basically and yeah good luck hope you have a good week and i'll see you next time bye